Good day. I wanted to explain how to move your GoDaddy website uh, database, when it's a WordPress site, from one uh, SQL server to another. Uh, so let me give you a quick uh, background on why you might want to do that, um, and uh, we'll go from there. So you can see the site here, partisanissues.com. It's one of my new sites, and um, uh, it's using the theme I've used elsewhere. Uh, however, you'll notice up here in the top left-hand corner how, how fast the site is. It's just ripping along nicely now and things are happy. Well, that wasn't the case um, previously. It was really bad. So I had, um, if you've ever worked on WordPress before, if you're, if you're not new to it, you'll know that the problem with that is always your plugins. So the solution is always to go through, turn off all your plugins, then turn them on one by one, trying the site for a while and seeing what's happening. Uh, the, the issue here was that uh, it wasn't my plugins. I'm running the same plugins on lots of sites, uh, and so and same thing with the theme. I've run the same theme on um, on lots of sites. So uh, turning off the plugins did not help. Uh, reinstalling plugins didn't help. Changing themes completely didn't help. And when I say didn't help, it would work for a while. I mean a while being a few minutes, then it would be dead again. Uh, so. What I've decided to do, well, what I did is I took a look at the, um, I went into my, let's go to the back end here, I went into my web hosting with GoDaddy, uh, and I took a look at my databases, and you'll see we have a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to go into, this is the one that GoDaddy built for me just as part of the wizard that sets up. So this was it, um, and uh, it was not working very well. Sorry, this is the server here. and. Uh, I believe it's not working very well. So I've called GoDaddy several times over the last few weeks uh, trying to determine what the problem is. And uh, you know, you can go into your services and you can turn off, um, you can wipe out any processes that are running in the background. That's an easy thing to do. Uh, I'll show you that actually right now, by the way, just because we're here, I might as well. So what you do is you scroll down here to system processes. These are the processes. You can click on end all and it'll wipe all of these processes out. Basically, it'll just shut down your sites for a few seconds. And then as your sites, uh, as people go on your sites, they'll just load back up. At any rate, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't sufficient. It may make things work better for a few seconds, but not for very long. So let's go back up here. I believe that the problem was the SQL server, but I was unable to get GoDaddy to move it for me. So I had to do it myself. It turns out it's actually very easy. So what you do is you go into your databases, and you scroll down to the database you care about and uh, the one that you're currently running and you click backup. And that'll create a backup. And uh, in my case, because this was a new website, it only took about, oh, five, 10 minutes. Um, even more complex sites will take less than, you know, 20 minutes. So somewhere between, you know, five minutes and 20 minutes is what it should take. And then I went, uh, then let's just go through it. Then I clicked add, type in a friendly name. Now this is just the name for the database. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, typically you just name it the name of your site. Um, and you can see there's some requirements on the right side, um, which aren't going to be an issue for it. I'm simply going to call this test uh, one two three four five, and the database I'm going to the user I'm going to call it test one two three whoops one two three four five. Yeah, and that passed. And uh, you have to enter a password that meets their complexity requirements, uh, which you can read on the right if you wish. There we go. Okay, apparently that site's already been taken. So I'm going to go with five, how's that? Get rid of the word four, number four. Look, nobody's taken test one, two, three, five. What a shocker. Okay, got my password entered, and you click okay. And what that will do is create a nice new SQL database for you. I'm gonna do that, so let's click okay. And this is going to take, if I scroll down, you'll see, yeah, it says pending setup. This is gonna take anywhere about five, depends how busy GoDaddy is, but typically five, maybe 10 minutes to create. So I'm going to stop this here and I'll come back in just a minute so you don't have to sit here and wait. See that uh, right now the site is, or the, not the site, sorry, the SQL database is done. I can click actions and I can click uh, details and here it is. Now, uh, so there's a nice new database. So what? Well, what I have to do now is restore the old database. So that's pretty straightforward. Click restore at the top. And which database, and I've got a bunch of them, so I'm going to select the one I was just working on, which was the um, uh, this one here. I, I did a backup of it this morning, and uh, I can simply click OK and do a restore. And uh, actually, I'll do that because 
why not? And you'll see, if I scroll down, it'll say pending restore. Now this I found will the gain take between five and 10 minutes. So let's take a pause and I'll come back when it's done. Thank you. Okay, so you can see that the restore is completed. Now I'm just gonna do this just to show you it, but you don't have to do this. Uh, we're gonna go into it. So I'm just gonna click my PHP admin and I'm gonna go uh, enter the site uh, username, which was test1235 and uh, the password that I typed. And this will take a second and go in. Boom, there we go. So in case you're wondering, you can have at, ha, trying to hack this, boys, because I'm going to delete this as soon as this recording's done. So there's nothing in here that's confidential. So I'm just trying to prove that that's how it worked, okay, so that they that, that you can get into the um, management of it. Okay, so simple enough. Uh, now, what you need to do, you've got your new site. Sorry. Okay, so what I've done is I've just brought over my old site, and you can see I took a screenshot of it before I changed, and you can see this was going to P3NL MySQL admin. 01 and now it's on p3 mice and blah 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 number two if you find it's on the same server well that may or may not be a problem um if it were me i wouldn't try i would simply build it again i would simply do add new again and i would go through the same process again until i get onto a different server i've talked to godaddy about it and they said that there's not a way to determine or force it to be on one server versus another you just have to um you know keep doing the restores until until it ends up on a server that is different from the one you started with Okay, so here you can see I've uh, FTP'd into my site, and uh, that's not very challenging to do. You simply enter your host name, username, and your password. In, in this case, I'm using FileZilla, but you can use any FTP software. And right in the root, you'll see um, wp-config. That file is what contains all of the configuration information for your site. So at this point, what we've done is we have a SQL server with a new, uh, sorry, a different SQL server with your old data restored into it and a nice new database, and that's happy. Um, however, your WordPress site has no idea that that site exists. WP-config is how you tell it, hey, quit looking at the old one, go to the new one. So uh, you download that file, edit it, and then copy it back. I'm not going to go through the process. It's not very hard, but just that's what you have to do. Okay, so I've downloaded the, the, uh, that file, wp-config, and I have opened it up, and you can see it's not that uh, complex. It's a pretty straightforward little text file. And uh, what I need to do is change the database name. So in this case, the database name is now test1235, and the username for that I also set to test. It is case sensitive, by the way, so test1235, and I did set it to all lowercase, so I'm gonna leave it at that. The password, you can see I've cleverly already entered in here, uh, not going to tell you. <laughs> so uh, that'll work. And here I'm going to change it also, the database, to test1235. But And you can see, we could have called it anything. GoDaddy doesn't care. The SQL Server doesn't care. Um, if it were me, I would call it after your, uh, you know, your site name. So if your site is something like Los Angeles Food Bank, well, then you could put in, you know, LAF Bank or something like that. But whatever you want to do is just fine with me. You can make it obscure, um, but I wouldn't bother. Yeah, that's it. Now, all I have to do is close this and save it, and then copy that file back into uh, back into the, uh, the hoster, which in this case is GoDaddy, and replace the WP config, WP hyphen config. And um, you can see that I didn't want, when I did this, I didn't want to screw around with it too much. I actually took the original file renamed it to the old, and then brought the new one in uh, because, um, yeah, I just it's always good to be able to go backwards without having to edit files. Um, and that was it. Then I simply went to my site, uh, did a refresh. Uh, when I say a refresh, I mean a simple page refresh like this, and uh, just clicked on something, and boom, this thing is lightning fast again, just like it should be. Uh, I have no idea what was wrong with the old SQL Server. Um, whether something just didn't get installed properly or what it was. And after running dozens and dozens of sites with GoDaddy, I've never had a problem like this before. But it is the kind of thing that um, I think uh, you're probably uh, going to need to know at some point in the future if you're getting hot and heavy with WordPress. So I thought it was worth recording. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.